Well, what are we fixing today? Today we're at the cottage. So these may come out out of order, don't know. We're at the cottage and we're gonna put some more light into some more dark places like we did on a previous video. This one is a little more light in a little bigger area. These are also smart lights. Now, I was gifted three Tuya lights and one Tuya switch. Now the switch will be done last and I'll explain why. The three Tuya lights are gonna go in right now though. And along with that, instead of buying stuff at uh, Menards or Home Depot that cost me like 40 bucks, I went to a local, um, well, it's like a Habitat for Your Vanity store. So I got really good prices on most of it. So let's take a look at what I got. Now, I was at Menards and I did get a fish tape because I didn't have one up here. I didn't find one of those in the other store. But I got a fish tape and I got this electrical thing which tests for hot wires. So that's good. I think I used this in the last video. I got that there. I got three semi-smart Tuya lights. Those are going to go up. And at the thrift store, you could call it that, I have a that store, I got three octagon boxes, uh, electrical blocks plug-in setup. I got some um, wire nuts. And three pull chain lights. All that cost me like 10 bucks. Oh, and then here. All those. Those cost me 50 cents. I'll need them to connect the wires. So, I'll show you a little bit more about where we're going. Now, I had <clears throat> an electrical friend pull a wire for me and the wire is not hot so let's check it not hot although see you can see that one that's what it does when the wire is hot this wire is not hot it just does the one beep when I push the button so that's safe to use I'm going to come pull the wire across and across there's the wall we'll go across over here and i got three beams one two three above this light this light's going to go and about four feet from the wall which would be somewhere in here i'm going to put those three lights boom 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 that's the plan Let's get started. All right, coming up. First part of this is just running wire. So not incredibly exciting. Now if I was clever enough, I think I'm gonna do something clever. What do you think? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'll take the wire and stretch it and take a wild guess where I think I need to cut it. It'll be too long. If it's too short, I got a problem. So, I do it to here. That's a bunch of extra feet. That's got to be good enough. So I'm going to take it. And I'm gonna just cut it. So now, the clever thing I'm gonna do is put the boxes on first. And I'm doing this so that I can strip the wire and not actually have to cut the wire. These boxes have to have a hole through. So. Well, you can see these boxes were a dollar a piece. Okay. 
There's a knockout. See, these are old, but not that old of boxes. There. This one's got a pair out. Get them out of here. All right. Now I'm going to put these things on. Oh, this special box is only a quarter. This is the one I had trouble even. I mean, this is from the 60s probably because it's so thick. Uh, I originally thought I needed an outlet on this. But I changed my mind because most of those porcelains have an outlet in them. That's the ones I picked. All right, so this is the one for the far end. Let's go back up to pulling wires. Okay. Now my line is, goes kind of this area. So I'm gonna run this wire right through it. kind of where it's going to need to be. Pull that a little tighter. Okay. And now I can take this. Like so. Now the idea would be to strip this, not even bother to cut it, and wrap this around the light lamp. And then this will go in this area. We'll make sure that when I get that far, and then I can put the other two on because none of it goes behind anymore. So let's get the next one. So that one's about there. This one will be about here. Pull some wire out. That should be plenty. And then the last one. Well, it's going to be cut anyway. So, now I can strip the wires. I'll keep my fingers away from where my blade's headed. See, I know how to stay safe, I just don't always do it. Okay, first one stripped. On we go. Okay, all stripped. Four feet on the wall. We're just going to pinch off the tape there. Four feet on the wall. And ish. I ain't going nowhere. All right. Number two. And 
And there it goes. Number two. Four feet right here. Okay, those aren't going anywhere. Oh, I gotta hook up the lights. So these all came with miscellaneous extra wires. And they were previously used. Now I gotta put a little curl on the end of these. This little fun. All kinds of fun. My arms are about to die. Okay, oh, now these lights are made to go up into a hole in a hollow ceiling and then snap and then get held. Well, that ain't happening here. This one is supposed to have a thing you turn in. Well, this one don't have that. So, this is how this is going to work. This one's just getting plugged in. And we're going to tie wrap it. Oh, it'll work just nice. Just nice. All wired. Well, at least that part's all wired. I'm going to hook up this other. And my other four tie wraps. One, two, three, four. So I'll show you what I did with these. I started out with a pair. Roughly halfway. And then this I'm gonna put underneath these springs. These springs would normally go up into a hole or something, but they're just not it's free space for me. These are free range LEDs. And I just put them on, not tight, tight, but enough that the springs are going to hold them here. And just stick two of these up here, ready to go. And then these will go over the wires up there. Just, just behave. I just want you to behave a little while. There, like that. Like so. We go. All right. Now let's turn on my circuit. Let's see if we have any fireworks. Contact. Two of them are on. Of course, the one I can't reach is the one that isn't on. There we go. Let's turn this off. Now I got a little light back here. And we can turn them on one by one. Well, what are we fixing today? Now to you, it's not a different day. To me, it's a different day. Because I've been gone for a couple weeks. Um, after the other part of the video that you, that you saw that happened, that was the wiring. Told you I needed a switch. 
here's the switch. I want to put this switch in that hole. The top one's going to control that light, and the other ones are going to control the lights that I just put in up there. Those lights. So, introduction to the uh, middle of a video, a little weird, but you know, it's me. So, let's get on with it. I gotta figure out how to program this freaking thing. Oh, wait, first I gotta look in the wall and see if there's a neutral in the wall, which chances are there's not. So, I'll have to run a neutral. So, let's start with the wiring and then we'll get to the programming. Let's go. All right, so I know, I know it's live because I don't even need, need to test her to tell me it's live. Pretty sure what I'm going to find in here is uh, can't see. Now live circuit. Careful, careful. Looky, looky. I'm so lucky. Two blacks on there. And if I look here, I have a neutral. Awesome. I can tap into this neutral. All right. Let's go figure out how to program this baby. This needs a program. We have a switch. Oh, it doesn't need a cover. That's good. What we got here? Load line. What about this? Line, load one, two, three. Well, I'm only going to need load one on there. A bypass cap. Why would I need that? This doesn't even need a ground. So I think this is dead. Dead, dead. This is made for 230 volts. This is a European switch. Well, holy crap. And there it is. 220 to 240 volts. This is a European one. Or a not US one. Same thing down here. So, I gotta find another switch. It won't even fire up. Well, that's it again for today. I got a bad switch. Well, I got a switch for free that isn't even for this country. <laughs> I wonder why it was free. I don't know why it was free. I guess I'm going to have to buy a switch. So this will get put back together. And we'll try again next time I come up. All right. Coming back to you real soon. Well, I'm not sure how I'm editing this together because this has happened over months. So please excuse me if it's sketchy and itchy. But, I think I have a smart switch now that works. If uh, I show you, well, I'll show you some of it. If you look at this one, it says it'll work for the right voltage. So, see it says 100 to 250, 50, 60 hertz. The last one I had says 2... 100 to 230 at 50 hertz and that was it 
and that was a no neutral and there was no way to get around it. So we have ourselves a yes neutral switch. And I got it kind of hooked up here. I did not plug it in yet. Let's get this onto the Tuyo cloud and let's get this programmed. I want to make it so that well, I have to know which one relay one is. I assume the top one is relay one. That one will control a light directly to the um, to the relay inside. The other two are not going to be connected to relays, and they're going to be programmable buttons. So it'll be like you know, like all the extra lights, and then three functions of the, the separate lights, probably. We'll see. I might change the programming, but we'll program something into it, and then we'll be able to see it work. I hope. So, let's start doing that. All right. Power on the device. Now, when you're doing this like this, you have live AC hanging out here. So, put that over there. Make sure you don't touch it. Let's see if it goes boom. Okay, there's that. Blinking. So I just held the top switch for a while. Confirm it's blinking. And it successfully. Sometimes it can go really nice, sometimes it can suck. Done. A three gang switch. One, two, three. One, two, three. Pretty cool. But that's the that's the app inside of uh, Tuya. Probably not going to use that unless um unless it's broken or something. So okay. Let's figure out what we're doing here now. I need to add a new thing. So we would probably go to. Settings, Integrations, there's already a Tuya here running somewhere, Tuya, click here, reload, It found it. Now it's got four devices instead of three. Okay. With six entities, because I added three entities because there's three switches. So, four devices. One is that. Let's give it a real name. C basement switch. Area C basement. Add label? No. Enable device? Yes. Update. Update all the entities. Rename. Switch one. We're going to rename this as well. This is going to be bar sync. Show as light. Update. Yes, I'm sure. Then I click it on and off, and it's clicking on and clicking on and off the Tuya world as well. And I can hear, I can see this. That's also going on and off. So, yay me. This one, and they all work. Let's write an automation. How's that? Over here. Bye, goodbye. Automations. Create automation. Create new automation. I don't have to do anything for the top light, but for switch two, I want add a trigger, 
search for trigger. I hate and hate devices. I won't use them unless I absolutely freaking have to. So entity state and the entity is called switch something switch two. C basement switch two, right there. Except that's the, not the right one because it's the one that's clicked out. C basement switch to the bulb. Okay, there. So the switch. When C basement switch changes state or any attributes. So if it changes state, in other words, if I flip it on or flip it off, I just want to do a toggle. So, any change in state of that, I don't need any conditions. I need a then do, add action, the by no those see here you don't get you don't get the entities right away. So you have to scroll down to the bottom, other actions. Perform action. The action is light toggle. Light toggle. And the entity is going to be uh, choose entity and it's going to be those lights. So, so whenever the middle switch is clicked it's going to turn all the lights on or all the lights off. It's going to toggle them. Hmm. I might have to fix that eventually because if some are on or off, it's going to toggle them and make them go weird. You can fix that two ways. One, you can put these in a light group and then you can just turn the light group on and off and they will sync. Or you can do a little magic with an automation. And I will, I will do that magic automation, do it offline and, and send it out with this um, thing. Okay, I'm not going to do it live here because I'm not so good at doing live uh, automations, if you know what I mean. But I'll do that. I'll do that automation so that it'll check and make sure if any of the lights go on, it's going to turn them all on. And if any of the lights go off, it's going to turn them all off. Only when the middle switch is clicked. You'll see it. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comments or ask me on Discord. That switch will now run all the lights. Ooh, I should have it run like all the lights, right? Let's add, ooh, let's add another one. Let's add the, the bar light too, which would be the top switch. It's going to turn this. So, so clicking on this switch will turn on that switch. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Let's choose entity. Uh, bar sync switch will be the other thing it turns on. So there's going to be the bar sync switch and then the three lights. And when you toggle this, it's going to turn them all on or turn them all off. So save. New automation. Basement middle area. Save. So that's basically working. Okay, seems dead. Looks like a Phillips will take these out. Bad news bears. Okay. So, let's check again. And this is a neutral, I'm going to need this. which one is aligned because I'm going to need to know. And then I want to turn it back on to see which one is hot.
Okay, we have hot wires here again and I have to be really careful. But I need to know which one of these is hot. So that has to go onto the line and which one is not. And that goes into the switch one. That seems hot. That seems not. So this bottom one here goes into line. This one goes into switch one and then these go together into the neutral. All right. Straighten these all out. Pull it already straight. Straighten this out. <coughs> Let's put it tight. All right. Stuff it back in the box. And I always like to do wire nuts up like this so that if it does get wet, it doesn't like fill up with water. So that can go up, back there somewhere. These stay down and then tuck up, back in somewhere. Arrows of the switch are up. You see them? You can see them up. At the back of the screwdriver, squish some wires in a little bit. All right, these all appear fine yet. I have to bend a little bit more. So the ones that are lower I'm bending up and the ones that are higher I'm bending down. And there we go. New screws. It came with the switch. Probably metric and won't work. We'll see. All right, before I snap the other thing on, we're gonna give it a test. Hopefully you can see the lights. Can't really see the red one. Let's turn this off. Now you can see them. I'm gonna turn this off. Turns off the light right above us here. Works fine. Now we turn this one off. Turns off all those lights. There, it toggles them all back on. Off. On. So that's working. This one doesn't do anything at the moment because I don't have an automation set for it. Well, you don't know. You just don't, you just don't know how happy I am that this shit is done. This is since spring. This is October, six months in the making in this video. <laughs> I hope uh, Dale Jr. back there approves. I don't know. He's got to live with it. Anyway, got my lights working up there. I can flip my switch. My lights up there go off. And at the same time, this one goes off and on. And I have a separate switch just for this, just for that one. Let's see if I can turn this one on and off without that. So, man, I deserve a like for this. This has been struggle after struggle. I first started, you know, I had to build those goofy things. I had to find them and build them and put them up there. Put in all the electrical. Okay, there we go. I had to put in these 
outlet uh, lamp holders so I could go to the uh, can lights, run a wire, run a wire, all the can lights are in. Then I had to um, make them work in Tuya, which for those of you who know Tuya, that could be a bit of a thing. Then I got a switch, which was given to me, that only works in Europe. But of course, I'm 300 miles from where the other switches are. And I didn't read it close enough, even though the outside of the box said it would work. I didn't read the label on the inside of the box on the switch. So that was another shot. A little piece of that probably in the middle of this video. Then I got the right one and now I got it all working. Uh, I will do some magic on the automations before I release this for you. But other than that, hardware wise, it's a go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. The YouTube -y stuff is down there, the subscribes and all them good things down there. And uh, likes are awesome. I could use likes. Comment, tell me how uh, you would have done this. Tell me what you think I'm gonna burn down the house because I don't have, um, that's not the code. So am I gonna go to code jail or something? Just let me know, give me a comment. I like comments. Even if they're not happy comments, just, you know, just don't yell at me too much. Just tell me I'm wrong. I'm good with that. Tell me how to fix it. I'm better with that. Tell me what you want to see. I'm great with that. So, till next time, remember, dark can be bad, can be good, but if you don't have a choice, find the light switch and put it into your lights. Bye. Bye.